want to show you a new product. This is the Texas Weapons Systems top cover, railed top cover for the AK-47, AK-74. Now this top cover replaces your existing AK top cover and it does also replace your rear sight, so you have to remove your rear sight. Uh, I don't have the option, I should have ordered it and I probably will, but you do have the option of ordering an additional piece that doesn't come in the kit, which is a peep sight for the rear that you can put, in, put on here, so that's a backup peep that works with your existing front sight. Uh, the, the top cover, as I said, does have a 1913 style rail. Uh, my first impressions of this is it's a finely made piece. It's very uh, well made, it is nicely finished, and I've weighed this compared to my Saega um, AK-74. It's an SLG-31, and the weight of this is pretty much the same weight as the top cover that it replaces, so this doesn't add any weight to your rifle. The kit comes with everything that you need to install it, including an Allen wrench, the necessary pieces, and then it also comes with a, a recoil spring replacement piece. Now, your recoil spring is in two pieces. It comes with just one piece. You have to disassemble your recoil spring and reassemble it with this rear piece. You'll also need some tools. I'm using just a rubber mallet, a flathead screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers to install this. So we will uh, first do the installation. I'll show you how it's installed since I didn't get instructions with this. And then we'll move to doing some shooting and testing whether or not this maintains zero when the top cover is open and closed. And that's what the benefit of this system is claimed to be. You're supposed to be able to open and close it as many times as you'd like and maintain zero with optics. So let's get to installing this and see how that goes. So the first thing that you'll want to do is get your rifle secured into a, like a, a gun vise like this so you'll have a place to work. You want it upright. Uh, you're going to be using some tools like a hammer to kind of bang on it to get things done. So you're going to make sure that it's fairly solidly mounted to something. The first thing that we're going to do is, well, I've first of all disassembled the rifle. I have left the bolt in it, but it's clear. I've taken the recoil spring out of it and the top cover off. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is remove this rear sight. Now, I've created a simple tool for doing that, which you can see here. And this little tool was just made out of a wooden dowel rod that I picked up from my local hardware store and I cut it up with a Dremel to get it into shape. Okay, so this is the rear sight we're going to remove. I'm just going to use a shop rag. I'm going to lay it over the sight, just the back part of the sight, leaving the front part exposed. And that's just to keep it from flying when I knock it loose. To break it loose, I'm using this wooden dowel rod that I've modified with the Dremel tool and it fits in the notch just in front of this sight so I can then give it a whack with a rubber mallet which will drive it right out. So I'm just going to put this shop rag over the back, put this on the front edge of the sight and then just give it a smart whack. and that rear sight just pops right out into my hand. All right, so now let's take a look at how we disassemble the recoil spring and take this rear section out and replace it with the TWS rear section. The AK spring assembly is in two pieces. The kit comes with a replacement rear section. This is actually what locks into the top cover and holding it in place you have to disassemble this spring assembly and it's pretty tough but this is how it's done first you just have to compress the spring completely and pull this top link out it's kinda of tough as you can see once you get that top link out the top will just separate and this is on a Sega and that little piece will come out and then you can disassemble the spring assembly okay so once you get that little end piece off the spring, the whole assembly of the spring will just slide right off and there's those two links in there. Just reassemble the original OEM factory link onto the TWS link, slide your spring back over, compress it, put that piece back on the end of your spring and you're done. So now let's take a look at uh, how we actually install the top cover to the rifle. So the top cover has one adjustable piece and it's this top piece. It has two bolts that hold it in place. That's because not all AKs are made the same. There's slight variances and this has to be adjustable so that you can adapt this to pretty much any AK on the market. Now you will want to remove the spring that's inside that rear gas block where the rear sight attaches. And you want to take that spring out because you won't need it. Next you'll set 
the top cover on the rifle and, and back here in, at the rear you'll notice that it's cut so that it's almost like a little bit of spring tension is applied to the rear I'm sorry you can see it better on this side of the top cover to help it auto center so you'll have to push it down onto your rifle to get it to seat now you'll want to make sure that you move this rearward so it seats properly in the receiver block and then up here in the front you can adjust this sliding piece until you can insert the pin that comes in the kit into the hole that holds this dog leg cover in place until it goes through like that okay so now I've got the pin in place and all I have to do at this point is put this little Jesus Christ clip on the side of that pin to hold it in place. And this is where the needle nose pliers will come in handy. Just place that clip on there. And give it a bit of a pinch with the pliers. and that locks the pin in place. Now the top cover is ready to be tightened. The kit also comes with the Allen head wrench that you'll need to tighten these bolts. And you'll just snug those down. You'll probably want to use some blue Loctite. I'm not doing that right now, but I will put some in there eventually. And that should lock everything in place. Now I wouldn't over tighten these, just snug them. And now the top cover should just pop up and hinge, but then go back to its same position once it's pushed down. All that's left to do at this point is to replace the recoil spring. and it's installed. So that's it. That's how you install it. It's uh, pretty simple. I wish that the kit had come with instructions. As I mentioned, mine didn't, um, but I'm sure if you contact the manufacturer, they'd be able to send you some instructions. However, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you have a basic understanding of AKs, it shouldn't be any problem for you. Um, I have installed this uh, CMR scope. It's by Leatherwood. It's a one to four power and that's mounted to the top cover via a LaRue SPR 1.5 a quick detach base. Everything seems to be nice and tight. I'm pretty impressed with the fit and I'm definitely liking the finish of it. It goes nicely on this SGL 31. So I'm going to take it out to the range here, do a couple of uh, quick shots with it, pop the top cover and shoot it some more, see if it maintains zero, and then I'll come back and give you some final thoughts. Alright, so we've got our base group set for 100 yards. Um, we're going to now shoot at this target after I open and close the top cover on the TWS railed top cover on that AK-74. So let's go see if this thing holds zero. So I'm shooting the Silver Bear 60 grain 5.45 by 39 ammunition. We've walked down range and took a look at our base group. Now I'm going to go ahead and break the top cover on their rifle here. Hinge it up. Set it back down and fire another group. All right, so here's our second group. This is our first group where I fired to, uh, to get the zero. Now, some of these rounds, I was moving the adjustments around to get it zeroed. But here's our first group. I actually broke the action open, the top cover open twice, and reset it because I like to mumble my words and screw things up on video. My cameraman loves that. So we've done this a couple of times already. Um, but anyway, so this is the actual second group. And as you can see, after breaking the action a couple of times and reseating it, it's still shooting zero to zero, and it's shooting a nice tight group. We have four of the five rounds pretty much touching. Okay, 
So we just took a look at the uh, first group and it definitely held zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and break that top cover one more time, hinge it up, set it back down, fire another group. All right, so here's the third group. Looks like maybe the point of impact came just to the left, maybe a, a quarter of an inch or so. It's definitely centered. And then on the fourth group, had one wild flyer. I'm not sure if that was me, ammo, or what. But we have two rounds to the same hole here and two more, so four of the five are right exactly pretty much where it was before. Uh, this could be anything. I'm actually, the rifle's over here, so I'm shooting a little bit to the right. I'm not square with the target. So this could be shooter air ammunition, but the point shift is maybe a quarter of an inch of that or so at 100. So I'll have to do a little bit more testing and see if it's actually the, the top rail shifting or if it's me screwing up, which is entirely possible. But so far, it's not. I don't see any wild variations in the uh, performance of that top cover. I'm pretty impressed with it. So some final thoughts. I like this top cover. It works well on the AK. It seems to maintain zero pretty well. Um, it also works nicely with this Comp M2 aim point that I have on here. So it, it, it works well with you know optics like this Leatherwood, or it works well with this Comp M2 red dot. Um, it's easy to install. It seems to maintain its zero pretty well. And uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed at the price, about $140. It's, I think it's a solid investment. I did purchase this from One Source Tactical, a great bunch of guys. And you can find them at the URL I have below here. If uh, you have any questions, feel, pre feel free to post those questions to my YouTube channel. And check us out on Facebook. And you can do that at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. Thanks, everybody, for watching.